Alrighty guys, now we're in the SM and it's going to be the same procedure. Uh, I'll go ahead and redo it for you guys again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the engine and power panel. We're going to turn on the two power switches. And then we're going to go to the power panel. And we're going to turn on the VHF1 and VHF2 switches. And then we're going to go over here to the left and behind us. We're going to go to the to go to the distribution uh, switch gear panel. Sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing that word. I do apologize about that. And uh, just like in the MKI and the MKA, you're going to see this uh, radio panel come up, and that's going to be able. Or that basically shows it to where you you know you're able to talk to the ground crew to rearm and refuel. And then we're going to go back to the engine panel. And we're going to hold down the RH button. And we're going to wait for the engine to hit 25% before we fire it up. All right. Now after it hits 25%, you can let go of the button. Let's go ahead and fire the right engine up. We'll wait for that engine to hit 70%. And we'll repeat the same process on the left engine. Alrighty, now that the right engine's at 70%, let's go ahead and proceed to the left. We'll press and hold the LH button, which is for the left engine, and we'll wait for that to hit 25%. Alright. Now we are at 25%, so let's go ahead and crank that left engine. We're going to go from off to idle. And it should match the uh, right engine. Now both engines are at 70%, so let's go out and look. The engine should be looking just like that, neutral and level. So let's go back to the cockpit. And let's head back to the engine panel here to the right. And we're going to cut on the AC generation and inverter uh, switches and also the ground power switch. And we're also going to go back to the... Um, distribution uh, switch gear panel and we're going to cut all these other switches on and then we're going to go back to the power panel and we're going to turn all these switches on and as you guys can see again it turns on the mfds let's go ahead and close the canopy now let's go to the second power panel. Let's cut on these switches. And the same process is going to be done with the SM model as well. You're going to go to this MFD here, and you're going to press this button right here. And you're going to wait two minutes for the uh, alignment to happen. And then when that's finished, uh, the same thing is going to be done here. You're going to press it two times after it says uh, alignment uh, ready. And that'll bring up the uh, the ADI. So turning on the um, the UFCP here on the SM and the uh, MKM, you're gonna go ahead and turn this knob. Let me turn on your hood, and you're gonna turn this knob. And that'll bring on the uh, 
UFCP uh, screen here. And you also have this switch. Just like the uh, MKI, it gives you different uh, information. So you just have the standard uh, hood, and then you have the AOA, and then your heading. And that's pretty much how you do it in the uh, both models of the Su-30. We hope you enjoyed this video. I also got to inform you guys that you will see um, hydraulics failure. All you guys need to do is just click this button right here, and it clears it right out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we hope you enjoy flying this mod, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, happy flying, comrades.